So usually when I'm making videos, I try and make them to a sort of semi-high quality. Uh, this one's going to be slightly more rough and ready. Uh, something you can see on a V2 channel, usually. Let me know if you still enjoy this and you want me to do stuff like this in the future. Uh, it'd be good to know because it means it's a bit easier to make and get them up uh, quicker and it means you can see stuff I'm doing anyway. So not the biggest job today. Uh, just picked these up from Exmoor Trim. I was up there filming the other day and they knew I was having issues with my vents. These are their brand new product they've just brought out and these are closed cell foam, uh, about a centimetre thick new vent seals. Uh, they put a lot of development into these. They know that the other ones that are dual foam don't seal very well. Um, they're open foam, uh, sort of open cell foam structure. So they absorb water and, uh, you know, it's just one of the biggest things, leaking water, leaking air in through the vents. They supply them with these inner sections still remaining. Um, let me see if I can get one out. So that comes out. And that's quite good. It means that unlike the other ones that you get from other brands, they completely hold their shape when they arrive. And the um, adhesive on the back doesn't crease, which is really nice. I'm hoping that these are gonna be better than the other ones. They definitely have um, tested them out with a few different companies. I believe some over in the States as well. It looks pretty good to me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take the ones that are on there at the moment because they are leaking air. As I said, those vents are the original vents on the brand new DDS bulkhead. So I'm surprised they even fit. So these are gonna make it even better. And while I'm there also, when I installed the new bulkhead, I um, took the old vents off Boris, as I just said, and um, I painted the old ones with um, a normal aerosol can in the same color as Boris, the Isles Blue or Windjammer. Um, and it's because it's all I had left. They did say that it's not the best paint for outside, but I just had nothing else. So I thought I'd just spray it with that and I thought it'd be absolutely fine. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Uh, it, then got air to it, water sat on it, and literally the day after I installed it, um, they went sort of white, splotchy, and not very nice. Um, it sort of looked aerated and faded effectively. So what I'm gonna do is take those off and give them a spray in 2K paint as well. And a lot of people ask me, let me see if I can find it. <laughs> so before you ask, um, some of you may know, I get a lot of people asking me what 2K paint is. 2K, they're custom filled, so this can will be bought in by a specific like specialist paint company, the sort of paint companies that mix up paint for spray guns, the ones that you can get custom made for when you're doing a build and you have a spray gun. They put that same paint with hardener into an aerosol can, just as you would expect, a slightly more sort of detailed nozzle, a lot higher spray rate. And what's special about this is they put the, the hardener in, in a little um, capsule inside. And what you do, you've got a little ring on there that goes through there, you spin it, pull it out, and then you heart, you, you shake it, and then the hard note is released, you shake it really well, and then you've got about six hours to use it. And that is as good as if you did it from a gun, or getting as near, and it's the same paint you'd use. And I did the doors on Boris about three years ago. They were white, didn't even prime them, just gave them a bit of a spray, went over with that, and they don't even need a, like a lacquer, but they look, completely shiny, the paint smooths them as you'd want it and it looks absolutely fantastic. So that's a little tip for me, I use those quite a lot, obviously with the sort of custom colour, custom fill, um, new technology and they uh, cost a lot of money. So I think they're about £24 a can, but for me it's worth it and it means that basically you don't get uh, sort of fading as you'll see now. So as you can see here, you can see what's happened, the difference there between the sort of nice, fresh, shiny paint and then just here, obviously water got to it. I'm not sure exactly what happened, it may not have been fully cured. There are other ways of sorting it, but I think adding this 2K paint, exactly the same as here. This is uh, done professionally by Jack Fielder, using the same paint from the same company. Obviously the aerosol will match. I think, as you can see there, you can rub it away. I think potentially if you polished it and re it, it would be good, but I'm happy with the method I'm going for. So you can see here the fault of the old style I was mentioning earlier. This one's actually held together quite well. That's how it should be. But the uh, foam underneath is completely compressed already, meaning it hasn't got much support. And you can see where the lines touch in there. This one, on the other hand, is completely different. Um, you can see the foam underneath. I'm not exactly sure what's happened. It's almost pushed over and then started to peel up. Uh, that's not really good at all. This side looks all right still, but it hasn't 
got much of an indent, which means I think this has been forcing this up and then not been able to sort of meet at this bottom edge too well. So hopefully these ones will be able to help this. And then you can see the uh, fading very well. So the surface is all prepped for paint, uh, sanded and then white spirit. Uh, it's just a rough sort of key. I know that paint's very good, so I don't need too much. And I've got this lined up. What I'm gonna do is before I paint it, apply the new uh, seal. I've also prepared around here as well. Uh, clean all that up, use a bit of a blowtorch to just dry it off and uh, white spirit as well. So it's now time to install the new vent foam. Okay, that's already looking a lot better. Obviously the old ones were probably a month old and a bit deformed, but I'm amazed at how much they deformed in one month. I'm looking forward to seeing how these go. And I guess the first trial run will be how much air and water comes into the cab. So now I've got to do the other one and then get these into paint. So as you can see here, I've made my makeshift little paint booth. Gonna do one at a time and uh, see how we go. So just going to now prep this. Unfortunately, I just realized that this is all we're doing today, so it's probably a bit of a waste of these, but it's my fault. I should have saved a bit when I was doing the rest of the bits in the car, but I completely forgot about these, so that's my fault. Um, what you do, enter that ring onto the bottom there, as you can see, and then pull it out like that. So with that, the cap of hardener is now loose in there, and you can shake it up, get the hardener mixed in. You have a bit six hours of that to finish this. That's pretty good on there, nice and thick. Now move to the other one. There we go then, that one's also done. Take them over here to dry. Shame the sun's gone in just now. Would have been really nice to them. Well, you can see the sort of fog there on the paint. Um, yeah, but it's a shame the sun's gone in because it would have been really good to dry them, but it's not too cold today as we're hitting March and hitting spring. So with that then, uh, we're done with what we can do for now. Um, it's the middle of the day. I'm hoping that those vents might dry over the next few hours. I'm not sure. It's not the warmest, I guess. Um, I just need to pack up, yeah, tidy up in the garage here. And obviously I'm going to be leaving the truck like this. I'm hoping that this sort of semi-bright cloud doesn't turn to rain like it says it might. I'm just going to get the tools in now. And I'll just show you something while I'm here. And that is, while I had the paint out, I thought I would just sort of really carefully spray down there. Uh, not sure why I did that, because there's a hole there anyway. And then here, there's a lot of corrosion and stuff there. Um, there's a little run. <laughs> but it's a lot better than it was. Um, you know, there's a lot of white sort of uh, corrosion and white bits there. So I gave that a sand, a bit more, um, w, not WD-40, white spirit. Take those out so no one steals it. I'm gonna leave it open, let it dry a bit, and hopefully no one steals my blanket. <laughs> so for now, uh, that's all we can do right now. So I'm gonna go back inside, and then hopefully soon, well, the next thing you'll see is now of me putting them back on. So it's the next day. I told you it wouldn't be long. A couple of seconds for you, a whole almost 24 hours for me. Uh, let's take a look at them now. So. These are looking fantastic. Obviously there's a little bit of dust in them where they were sitting, but you can see that gloss there, what it's like uh, compared to the last stuff. I think I went on a little bit thick. It would have been best to do 50% of what I did, let it dry for a bit and then go again. Uh, it was a bit tacky for a bit longer than normal, but I had it under some heat for about two hours and uh, it's definitely hard enough to go back on now. So thankfully it hasn't rained too much and uh, let's get them on. Just before I do, one final look at the nice Exmoor trim vent seals there. 
protruding a hell of a lot better than the other ones. Uh, obviously, I can't comment on what they're like um, other than the sort of quality of feel. And I guess it'll all be down to how they are when they go on and stop rain from coming in. Take a look at that, that looks a hell of a lot better. All I've got to do now is just do these up and then we're done. So there you go then, a pretty easy job. Usually those sort of things that you think are gonna be like an hour or so or a couple of hours, something goes wrong and uh, it turns into a twice the length. Thankfully this time, touch wood, the whole car doesn't fall apart now, uh, has gone really well. I'm really looking forward to seeing how those vents fare in the rain, in the Scottish weather, as we're heading up there soon. I'm really glad to have those vents painted because they've been looking terrible for a long time. So now I can finally take some good photos of the bulkhead after the swap. Thanks to Exmoor Trim for supplying those vents. It was really looking forward to seeing how they work and reporting back on that. And uh, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.